Eric Davis, Hay to See Airstream, Columbus, Ohio, coming to you from the 40th annual Ohio RV and Boat Show, but we're here to showcase something special. What we're looking at here is the 2021 New Camp Tab 320S. This is their new introduction for the 2021 model year. Um, but the production is starting as we speak. So if you want something new and exciting, you can uh, obviously see it at uh, Hay to See, but the point is what's changed, what's new for the new camp series. First of all, right away, you can see new graphics. You can see new trim. Gone is the old, if you will, um, ac accent rubber rail to a new heater rail, which is going to work beautifully. Some of the things you're familiar with, obviously they have their quality attention to detail. We've got new grand handles. You've got the color options that you're familiar with. And as we make our way to the front of the tab, you're going to see a new design in, in their um, diamond plate aluminum exterior. Gives you more space on the tongue of the trailer. Also, all of the trim work is new. They've incorporated new handles and just a cleaner, simpler look to a very elegant travel trailer. Without going into a lot of detail, also what's happening is they're moving to cassette toilets. This is going to make for a kinder, gentler uh, off-road experience if you're doing a boondock, uh, dry camping, so once again, I think that will lay out beautifully for the new camp product. The 320, of course, employs that wonderful uh, rubber torsion axle. Their step system here has become very elegant as opposed to the old metal which moved in and moved out. The European entry door, which has not only shades, but the all important trash can or to the point where we're carrying stuff for the dogs and what have you. You have two basic color options on the exterior of the trailer, which will be the uh, frost white, or you can do it in, the, in a gray. Uh, keeping in mind the beautiful construction of this travel trailer that has a complete aluminum wrap with the bonded Asdell fiberglass sides. So if you wanna have some fun with color, we can do that but all the beautiful colorways that we're familiar with, with with the tab and New Camp product exist. Why don't we walk inside and look at some of the new options? So as we make our way into the 320, it has all, I think, some of the options that you're familiar with, with screens and certainly the elegance of, but right away what happens is you see the new colorways of cabinetry. Now you're going to have options. You're going to have options some of you like the classic birch cabinetry that uh, you're familiar with from New Camp, certainly available. On the cabinetry though, look at what they've done with the beautiful hardware. This is all recessed, so now it's a, it's a very clean silhouette, but also it just functions beautifully. So I have recessed hardware, not going to catch on anything. Immediately what catches my eye is the new fridge. Now. This is a two-way fridge. This is going to give you the opportunity to have extended off-road or let's say off-grid experience. Kinder and gentler to that off-grid off experience. Then you see they've repositioned the new 12 volt and uh, GFI outlets. Why is that important? Well, no cords hanging down because they were per on top of the trailer. And the other thing is, you have access here for charging USB ports and also 12 volt ports. Uh, you might want to have your crock pot rolling down the road. It's a beautiful thing. We have the Dometic. Um, so now you have a more elegant display in your Dometic and it has an electronic ignition and all the fun stuff. You do have your shades and um, screens at your fingertips. LED lighting, and guess what's happened? We've created space above the galley. So this is just an elegant presentation 
in a very small platform going to solid surface tops, new cabinetry, flush mounted hardware, and it just has a very clean appearance. Right away, this is the elegance that you're familiar with with the new camp. As we move into the cab, uh, you, you now see solid surface doors. This replaces the, uh, if you will, the ribbed glass door. So obviously, uh, right away, a little more privacy. A little more elegance when it comes to the uh, brushed aluminum hardware. As you, as, if opening the door to the lavatory, what you find out very simply is, is that we've got a lot more room. So you've got standing space. You now have the sink, which is located in, in the back, which now gives me room to move about the interior. And the toilet itself is just so much more efficient. You, with the cassette option, we have also now doubled the amount of fresh water uh, capacity. So I now have more fresh water. I've, by the way, yes, I love the fact that we have uh, the opportunity to have the lavatory involved with the small platform. But think about it also as the utility of space. Let's check out some more fun stuff. Welcome to the master bedroom of the Tab 320. The Lagoon table continues to exist, which offers an outside mount for the table, but this pivots out of the way. So whether I'm creating space for myself, whether it be computer space, whether I'm adjusting this up or down for little people, big people, that certainly is applicable. Pivots out of the way so I can access. What we've shown here is we've dropped the, the back bed, but what that means is I have a cushion which releases and this back support will come up and give me certainly the opportunity for my u-shaped dining but also what happens here when this comes forward and drops into place i now have created if you will a twin bed so uh, i can sleep vertically or i can sleep horizontally the other thing is that we've now gone to a split cushion Notice, please, if you will, this pivots from and creates a low silhouette. Now I can have a back or a headrest underneath, pivot that up one side or the other. So for a couple people, it makes all the sense in the world. When I move it into position, now I can create that entire, if you will, U-shaped dinette. By moving the bed down, I'm going to showcase, if you will, you have additional storage in the back. You have, I, I look at that as kind of a nightstand appearance. You have your pivots, your lights that pivot. So these are true reading lamps. Your overhead storage, uh, beautiful European hardware that is to access the, the back. And then probably the coolest thing, yes, I can take my cushions and drop them into place to create my full bed. But check out the opportunity here. Those of you who remember the slat system from the addition, from the inline 320, what happens here is this will now drop into place and now I can create that full bed very easily. This will pop up, go into place, my slat system drops in so now I have a more user-friendly experience for the entire setup of the bed. We have recessed all of the, if you will, the, the electronics for um, function. In other words, your fuse box, GFI outlet, and of course your propane detector, meaning that they are protected by a rail in front. And then underneath, we still have the access, if you will, to your Aldi system, and certainly your AC system. This is a travel trailer that works beautifully off-grid, and we know of the uh, luxury of the Aldi system to provide both your hot water and your heat. So if you're looking at the setup for the bedroom in, this is just going to be a beautiful experience in setting up for that weekend warrior or if I'm going 
the distance. Once again, the master bedroom in the 320. You're familiar with, once again, you have the um, Pivot TV. Uh, that is an HD LED TV, but look at this. You have the luxury or the option of moving it to the window. You can sit outside and watch TV. This is the new uh, fun stuff. In other words, we've gone to a microwave. It's an option if you would like to have storage in place of the microwave. That certainly is applicable. But a lot of requests out there said, yeah, we're going to certainly appreciate having a microwave at, uh, for that convenience. The sound system is at your um, fingertips here, and it's more user-friendly, meaning that it's located in the master bedroom as opposed to over the um, galley, easier to access if I'm in the bed. By the way, it is DVD, CD, it has all that fun stuff. And you do have a secondary USB port, which is dedicated to the system. If I wanna plug in stuff, iPads, things like that too the system. We've extended storage all the way back in the cab. So once again, in a small area, we have made some major improvements in the New Camp 320. New Camp information at your fingertips. Everything is just very functional and certainly very appropriate. The Aldi uh, heating system for both your hot water and your, um, your heat. You have a AC system, which is at your fingertips, so I can do all of the information that I require at my fingertips. All of the information I require for my tanks, for my battery, also my water pump, everything at your fingertips, and an additional vent, which will allow that AC to move freely throughout the cabin. Once again, information and technology at your fingertips. Like all the beautiful New Camp product, you have your fantastic fan, and it is, it both inhales and exhales. Once again, at your fingertips, this allows you to move tens of thousands of cubic feet of air with your uh, open windows to move, because I do have cross ventilation, I have my screen door, I have my front window, so I'm able to move a lot of air through your um, New Camp product. Once again, the 320 sets up beautifully for the weekend warrior, or if you're going to full time in this, have some fun. The New Camp 2021 320S. They've refined the process, they keep getting better. You've got to see this travel trailer. We're at the Ohio RV and Boat Show. And then we also will be at Haydesey Airstream and RV. Come and see me on Broad Street. My phone is area code 614-279-8880 or reach me via email eric at Once again, happy camping. Enjoy the journey.